Leslie Silbert reunited with her furry best friend, Buddy. Uh, the first night together, he was much snugglier uh, than he normally is day to day, clingy. He wouldn't let me out of his sight. He followed me from room to room. He wanted petting all night. She nicknamed the furry feline Big Sexy after adopting him in 2017 from animal care centers of New York City. Every time I would sit to watch TV or have a laptop, he was perched behind my head, snuggled up. In January, the fluffy black cat with golden eyes was chosen for a photo shoot with members of FBNY for their upcoming calendar. It was at a firehouse in Lower Manhattan. Buddy went, but quickly disappeared. He bolted underneath the truck. I was actually sure the, uh, that he, I thought he'd come out within 45 minutes or an hour. He'd get hungry. But he didn't. People kept believing that I'd find him, so I did. I kept believing I'd find him. I, I didn't give up. Big Sexy quickly made headlines, and an all-out search for him began. Weeks later, after fleeing the firehouse, somehow he made it to Staten Island. I joke with friends that maybe he treated himself to a scenic ferry ride. Ironically, he ended up in the yard of a Staten Island woman with an FDNY connection. Her husband was a firefighter who uh, recently who died a year ago, March 29th, of World Trade Center-related uh, cancer, um, and she felt like maybe this was his way of he guided us to each other. She contacted Leslie through Lost Pets of Staten Island, and after a nearly six weeks long adventure, Big Sexy is back home. It's so nice to have you home. And Leslie says as a way to say thank you to the woman who helped bring Buddy back home, you know, the woman whose husband recently died, she's going to contribute to the 9-11 Victim Compensation Fund and do whatever she can to keep it funded. In the newsroom tonight, Jennifer Bisram, PIX11 News. Yeah, Kindy. welcome home, buddy. Thanks for that story, Jennifer. Very nice.